Hi, Graziano. Hello there. Uh, we are meeting here at a party where Dennis Meadow just talked about um, sustainability. And he used two terms, uh, efficiency and resilience. What are those terms and what is the difference between them? <laughs> well, uh, resilience is, is a term that has been developed in the field of ecology by a scientist called Bruce Holly. And what resilience actually implies is the ability of, of a system to buffer the shock, maintaining its, um, you know, its characteristics and its ability to, to function in spite of the shock. And the opposite of resilience you can think as brittleness, something that after the shock essentially you know, breaks down and stops working. So this is the idea you have to keep in mind when you talk about resilience. You can have resilient community, resilient ecological community that can withstand, for example, droughts or other kind of environmental shocks and they still keep working. Well, uh, many people Many uh, in uh, last decades we thought that efficiency would be something very good, but obviously efficiency is not good enough. Well, one key component of resilience uh, is essentially diversity. So a more diverse system is always more resilient. Uh, actually, in, uh, in financial portfolio theory, you know that when you invest your money, you want to diversify your investment, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. And the reason is that when you diversify, you ensure resilience. Efficiency, on the other hand, it always drives for specialization, which implies a loss of diversity. And that's why efficiency can lead to the loss of resilience. Um, what Meadows was referring to probably is what economists call technical efficiency, which is essentially the ability to produce more with less. So whenever you produce more, with less, you improve your technical efficiency. So it's not enough to uh, buy cars that have a better consumption of fuel? No, 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 no. Absolutely, because I asked you a question before, and is what do you do with the money you save on fuel? Probably what most people do is this money saved, they spend it maybe to travel abroad. And by traveling abroad, they actually they are increasing and expanding, for example, the demand for fossil fuels. Uh, also, when you have a more efficient engine, for example, which can more efficiently convert fossil fuel into work, then you will expand the application of this evidence to many other fields. So why do we need resilience? Resilience is important because it ensures, uh, you know, if you want the, uh, the long-lasting of a system, because you cannot predict what future events will be. You want to make sure that the system is capable of understanding whatever comes. Can you give examples of threats? Why we need resilience? Well, I can think, for example, of, I think of the resilience of our food production system. So our food production system is is a system which is essentially relying very much on import of food. Okay, so it's very much connected to the network of global trade and essentially relies on one resource, which is oil. We need oil to produce food, you know, tractors, pesticides, whatever. And this is certainly a system which is not resilient because if the shock like in the 70s came you know through the oil market so if oil becomes scarce then the whole system would collapse because it's extremely connected and it relies just on one resource which is oil so definitely for example our fur production system is, is not resilient in the face of oil shocks in which direction should we go well i think the direction for the future is really relocalization so try to build what are you know local economies which can provide for themselves at a local level so try to be a bit more disconnected from the global you know trade system and rely on other sources of energy than fossil fuel which implies that probably we will have to rescale down by you know an order of magnitude you know the size of the economic activities uh, we have and so what can actually 
be done now on the local level? Well, at the local level it's very important to start to you know, connect with each other and do things together. Personally, I'm going to start to do like a, a vegetable garden with my colleague. Um, this is uh, an infinitesimal step, but I think it's, it's something in the right direction.